there, it's Leanne Phillipson, and as it's family taco night, I've got one of my daughters behind the cameras and one of them here in front of the camera. So Hadley's here, she made the, the blender pancakes the other day, if you happen to catch that. If not, do look it up on YouTube, and please, please make sure you watch all the way to the end, because when I edited it, <laughs> Don't do it. I, I, added, I added in some pretty funny outtakes, so if you want to get your kids making something, and they're a bit nervous about making it, have them watch it first because they're not gonna be so worried about messing up at all. So today, from my book, Sprout Right Family Food, um, I'll pop the link in the notes if anybody's interested in grabbing it and you don't have it yet. So this is one of my favorite pictures and one of my favorite recipes from my, uh, from my book. This is Taco Night. Doesn't that look like a lot of fun? So I hope that you've got some family members in the kitchen with you, or maybe uh, you've got family members ready for taco night tonight. Um, this takes a little bit more prep uh, because we put in a lot, a lot, a lot of vegetables into it. So we're gonna get at it. I'm gonna start with the actual taco mix. I'm using grass-fed beef today. In the recipe, I also recommend that you use uh, chicken, you can use ground, uh, ground turkey, and you can also use, uh, use beans. So that's actually in the recipe. If you scroll down, you'll find another post, or if you're watching this on YouTube, the recipe will be below, and you can make this plant-based, or you can make it um, any way you like, really. So I've got the grass-fed beef. I have chopped up my onions and garlic already after my, um, <laughs> my crying when I was doing this on the live the other day, because it hurt. Hadley's gonna handle the guacamole and then maybe even chop up the cucumber, depending on how fast she does it. So let's just make sure, is she still in the frame a little bit there, Lubin? Okay, all right, so Hadley's gonna take off with that, with this. I'm gonna put my onions and my garlic there that I already chopped into the frying pan. I'm gonna fry those up a little bit first before I add in the meat and the spices. Okay, Yet. so the ingredients you need are an avocado, lemon juice, um, salt and pepper, onion, garlic, or onion and garlic powder. You can add more ingredients. I like to use tomatoes, but we don't have any here, but that's okay. So you're gonna cut improvise. the- Improvise. Yeah, we'll improvise. So I'm gonna cut around the avocado, and then hopefully it'll work. Twist it, yep, and then I'm gonna see if I can get, nope, just crack, that's okay. Take the pit out, a cracked pit. And you can keep the pit and put it in the guacamole because then it kinda, it keeps the avocado from browning or it helps prevent it from browning. Now I'm gonna get a spoon and take out all the avocado from the avocado. I love, I love the step by step. Thank you, Hadley. You're we don't actually welcome. have a recipe for the uh, for the guacamole. This is something that Hadley likes to make, so she's just kind of making her version. You can pretty much do whatever you like with your with your guac with your guac. I know some people don't even put garlic in it. They just do uh, lemon juice and onion. So really, you can do whatever you like. We don't have any other lettuce to put on top of the tacos. We just have spinach, which is. My favorite, but not theirs. No. Um, so I'm just chopping this up so that we can put this on top. Really, tacos, you can use whatever it is that you have. Adding the onion. Oh, sorry to interrupt. That's A-okay. I'm not going to use all of it. So what kind of onion have you got there? Red onion. Red onion, because it's... It's made. colorful, and it tastes good. And it's not maybe quite as strong sometimes. Yeah. Okay. You can use... What else? What other onion have we used? We've used spring onion, or you can use onion powder if you don't have onion. Yeah, that's good too. All right, so some lovely uh, antioxidant rich spinach going into, uh, this is more my serving bowl that is going to go onto the table. We do need to uh, grate the cheese. That's always very important, the, the cheese. I'm gonna press my garlic now in our fancy garlic press. It's not very fancy. I'm only gonna start it with half of the lemon because otherwise it might be too sour because my sister hates sour stuff. So. Oh my goodness. Actually, yeah. Logan, I had a comment earlier about someone not being able to hear us so well. Can I ask you to make sure that the volume 
is turned up as much as possible on that. Just keep on going. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. I hope that's working. Um, and pepper. Working for you. Wow, that was a lot of pepper. That was a lot of pepper. Oh, oh, let's well. show what it looks like right now. Mm -hmm. Right now, it doesn't really look like anything. It does. You gonna okay. mash it with a fork? I am. Fun yeah. fact, I don't like avocados. I really wish I did, because, I don't know, apparently, like, they're really good for you, and the texture is really nice, but I love guacamole, so. Guacamole and eggs, maybe, <laughs> on toast instead of avocado on toast. Yeah? Is that ripe, that ripe enough? I don't know. We got a delivery of a lovely bag of avocados, thank you, Tracy, uh, the other day, and they were actually not all, like, uh, as hard as uh, baseballs. So that, w <laughs> that was actually quite nice that we're able by, uh, by today. Uh, oh, yes, I haven't even said, what day is it? Self-isolation day? I don't know. 11. 11. I don't day know. 11. I've, I've, I lost count after two. <laughs> so. How are you doing? How's it going? We're going a little stir-crazy, but... We, uh, yeah, we're, we're making it. We're, get, we're, get, we're getting food. through. We do, we do have good food. And uh, I think in part because of doing these lives with you, cooking together, then I am quite sure that we are eating better than I might have done. Because, you know, by 5 o'clock, you don't always, it's sometimes hard to get yourself in the kitchen by 5, by five o'clock. So um, this has helped me as much as it's helped you. While, um, while we've been doing this. And I've had some messages from people who are saying that they're not necessarily making it to the lives um, that we're watching the, these videos after. So thank you very much. I hope that the internet is strong enough that it's pulling it through so that you're not getting it all really choppy um, because uh, that was a comment that I had. So I do hope that we're coming through loud and clear. I'm hoping that perhaps um, if on if you're rewatching this on Facebook and it's a bit choppy, then maybe head over to YouTube. The uh, we're posting them slowly there, the uh, videos, so that um, you can grab them there too with the recipes and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to share this with a friend, you can tag them on the social media post, or you can um, you can share the YouTube link as well. So my sneaky sneaky way of well, actually not so sneaky. I just have sort of always done it this way, so my kids are, are used to it, is that I always put vegetables into the, um, in with the meat. Um, it can be, oh, I'm she's tasting taste it. testing. I'm making she's, sure she's good. She stirred it all, she stirred it all up. Well, I have to say, for Logan behind the screens, you're very lucky that I didn't put the whole lemon in. So, I'd recommend using half a lemon. One likes lemon and one does not. Please. And Logan's gonna have to no, come into the shot, please, in order to get some guacamole because she's motioning that she would really like some. So come on and say hello. Yeah, okay, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna put the uh, the meat in now and start to brown that. I'm gonna add a little more salt and pepper. Very possible that Logan will wince because it's too sour. No, she says it's good, which is good. Come more on you. I will. My co-chef adding in onions. Thank you, Kevin. What are you doing? I added in more onion. No, and what's I also good onion. about adding the red onion is it gives it color, which I already said. But otherwise, it's kind of just like a just kind of green, which is fine. Green's a nice color, but now you have more colors. And Mom's always saying, "Eat a rainbow every day." So now you check two more colors off the list. Well, I don't know, like a minuscule piece of <laughs> minuscule bit of, a bit of onion is a little bit of a stretch. But every I'm little gonna, bit good. counts. That's good. It, you're right. Every little bit bit counts. I'm just gonna add in the rest of my onion. Okay. I should really have done a bit of that. So I've got uh, lots of um, zucchini here, which is awesome. And then I'm gonna grate the carrot. Just going over for some. Pardon? Puffy wants some. Oh yes. Our dog Lexi quite quite enjoys uh, carrots. As soon as cheese is open, then she's here. She's, she's in the kitchen. She's Even right now, she's walking, walking around. around behind us. So if you see one of us take a bit of a spill, we've just uh, been t we've t been tipped over by the Ewok. She's so she's so hairy, 
and she's got so much. Oh yeah, she just uh, she almost looks like she's put her wee nose in a in a uh, uh, socket because she's just exploding. She would have been groomed a little while ago by now. Yes, Logan. Uh, May Delani said that's the coolest grader. I'm sorry. That's the coolest grader. Isn't it amazing? It is, this it's fun. is. It makes me want to grade stuff, and I'm a kid. I know it is truthfully the best grader because the um, because it goes both ways. So it normally, like on the box oh. grader, where's the box grader? Done? I don't know. It's in the thing. It's in the where. Right anyway, a normal box grader. I thought I got that one. Oh, here it is. Right there. This on the normal box grader, they only go one way. So when you go back up again, which of course you do, you have to go up and down and up and down. It um, you're only going one way, whereas this one. It goes both ways, and it's just and it's and just a I, I was just in I, from IKEA. It's not um, it's nothing nothing fancy, but absolutely the best purchase ever. And it also because it lays down, then you can put pressure on it and you know not try and lose your fingers. Yes. Uh, she said it's Sarah from Ohana. Oh, hey Sarah, how you doing? Lovely to see you. Well, well you virtually. know from the back of a camera screen. I hope everything's okay. I bet your clinic is quiet, closed, and all of that kind of stuff. What have we got going on right over here? I hope you're doing really well. Garlic powder. Your family's all right. I think garlic powder. So when you do make guacamole, know that the flavors kind of come through a little bit later. So by tomorrow, this guacamole, if there's actually any left, is going to be flavor packed. There's going to be a lot, a lot going on in there. It has kind of so much color. It's mostly green. But it's got other colors in there too. This is what it looks like so far. Got the pits in there to keep it from browning. Probably have to put them a little deeper to make it work, but you know, it's just when it, when you put it on the table, you can leave the pit in there, and it really, really does help from from it browning. So I'm gonna try it. Okay, see if I can not slice off my mm. nails here. It tastes really, really good. Save save a little bit for Lexi for later. Okay, so I'm done with this. Is it good? It's really good. Okay, so you can add it to Logan's wanting a little bit more. <laughs> Would you like to try some? From behind, from behind the screen. I will in a, I will in, yes, I will. <laughs> I was gonna say I will in a minute. Mm mm, yum. I don't Ooh. know what type of chips these are, oh but that's, God, um, like, that's, my immune system just went, woohoo. It's another color, it's purple. It's another color off your rainbow for the day. Okay, has it, has it watch out? Okay. Okay. So this is my frying pan. The meat is not quite um, cooked through yet, but all the onions are in there. And then I'm going to add in all these. Look at all this. Look at all these veggies. Amazing. So I'm going to put all this in here, and then the zucchini, especially, really, really, really just wilts down a little bit like spinach. You honestly like a little bit like the quesadillas that I did a couple of days ago. You really could also just. Um, throw in anything. If you've got some peppers left over, do that. If you've got, um, I can't even imagine, I don't know that cucumber would really go in it. Beans, green beans, anything like that, throw that in there too. Cucumber is good to put it on top. Lots of people won't think of it, but it's really good on top. It's kind of crunchy and a little cold. Um, do you want to chop cold. the cucumber, please? Uh, sure, why not? This is family taco night. How do you want me to cut them? Do you want me to show you how to cut it? No. Independent. We normally cut it up really small. Sure. Okay. <laughs> so here we go. So you start like this with this because it's quite quite soft. I normally just go all the way through like this. It gets a bit wonky at one point, but well, like that. <laughs> at one point, second chop. And then you just like I did with the sweet potato fries, just like I did with everything else I've chopped it. all week. Then you do them long, kind of fry okay. shapes, and then go across. No. Don't, here, try with this knife. No. I like my knife. Okay, it's, it's easier with this guy. Probably. Okay, and in they go. So these are just really small little cubes. Ooh, I did it. Oh, no, I didn't. And then I you need to cross, the and then you need to cross them. <laughs> so that's the cucumber. And again, you can put anything you want into, uh, into your tacos. Everybody gets a little bit fixed. It's kind of like when I put broccoli and corn and green beans on pizza, they go, you've lost it. It but, tastes good when you have the cheese. But when you have it all on there, it's 
actually so flavorful and so flavor rich. It's really, really yum. Really, I have to use mom's knife. How did it go? Switched over. Okay. So into the mixture that I've got going on here. It's a little messy, but that's okay. I actually recommend, um, rather than all the um, packages of taco mix, which typically has some MSG and, and stuff like that in it, which I'm not a huge fan of. So I've got some cumin and some chili powder here. If I'm really stuck and don't have have much then I and I actually don't have tomato sauce that's part of the recipe so I'm gonna put in more salsa this uh, Neil Brothers salsa um, is I love it absolutely love it um, this one's a little bit um, on the hotter side so I'll put a little bit less in for the more delicate palate in the house uh, that's me Hadley she's not so crash hot on the spicy stuff but when you're putting it into such a big mixture like this, then you're not really going to, uh, you're not really going to feel it so much, um, any kind of heat. But the cumin and the chili powder gives it a really, really gorgeous flavor. So just add in salsa if you don't have any tomato sauce, add in a little bit more um, salsa, and then Done. you've got salsa um, on top as well. So should we put salsa, some salsa in this one as mm. well? My cheese is good. Shake it up a little bit. Actually, Joanne Wallace. Yes, Logan. Uh, Joanne Wallace said, "Yum, looks good." Yes, hey Joe. How you it doing? tastes good too. I've got my chef in the kitchen, just like you normally do with your lovely son and your daughter, actually. No. Do you remember Joanne from uh, Gaines Night? Sure. Yeah. At Heather's. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sure. Here we go. Okay, so I've got, oops, no, I, put, I use that to pour this, pour this salsa in. So I'm gonna put a little bit of salsa in there. Oh yeah, this is what they normally do. They don't even grate it, but they still eat it. It's really good. Of course it's just it cheese. Is. Of course it is. Okay, so mix in the salsa, and as soon as the meat is cooked, and you really, bowl. really are pretty much ready to go. Would you like a bowl? Uh, sure. I'll have a turquoise one like this one. The spinach is in, please. How about this one? That's just a little bit too big. Oh. Thank you. We have lots of bowls. Surprise, surprise. So this, giving it probably just a few more minutes to cook. Um, but today, because I want to make up a, a taco to show you, then, um, then I'll put a little bit into the, into the bowl. We honestly make this whenever we have, uh, friends over who've got kids, we just, you know, throw it in the, throw everything in the middle of the, um, in the middle of the table. Cause who doesn't like tacos? Exactly. Who doesn't like tacos? It's taco, I don't know, day of the week. I don't know what day it is. Yeah. It's Friday. So, um, so really kids who are not sure about all the stuff that I've just put in here, most of the time, number one, they're at someone else's house, and number two, they're, they can't pick it out or they can't pull it out because it's gonna go into, uh, into a taco. So, uh, so it's really, really great to do something like this. Yes, Logan. Uh, Joanne said that, love that all of your bowls match. Yeah, they're all kind of in the same family, aren't they? Of colors, yeah. We've got white ones, we've got lovely turquoise ones. Okay, Hadley, I'm gonna, do you wanna make up a, no, I'm going to make it up for her because when she makes it up on her own, it ends up almost being like a cheese taco, which... No! Yes. A little hack, if mom's not doing it now, but if you put the cheese on the bottom and then the meat on the top, then the cheese will melt because of the heat of the meat. Good hack, Adley. It's a very good hack. Okay, what else? You what, need... what, what do you want on top? I'll do the spinach first. I wasn't going to say spinach. <laughs> Because <laughs> she wouldn't, she didn't want, she doesn't want any spinach. She doesn't want any spinach at all. You can do cucumber. All. Cucumber and guac on top? No. Cheese. Oh, sorry. Cheese on top? No. Just, the, the rest can just be <laughs> cheese. No. No. You have to have your, you dip the, your guacamole. I know, I shouldn't have done that. I just have the guac with the chips. Oh, no, yeah. no, 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 no. The guac, well, do whatever you want. Okay, this a is looking more salsa. like a green taco. Need and some more color. There we go. Beauty, beauty, beauty. Okay, I'm just gonna pop that there because we'll have to get the money shot afterwards. 
and then we'll make another one. It? We'll take some pictures. So we're gonna take pictures first, and we're using the camera. So basically, that's it. There's your taco night. So all this is gonna go on the table. Everybody's gonna dive in, and uh, oh yes, I see how how the Sprout Right page. I'm sorry, it is really a little bit on the slow side. I can see that now. So I hope that it's still coming um, coming through somehow. And we've got a like from John Phillips. And hey, Dad, what are you doing? What watching? My, my dad's dad. in the my dad's in the UK watching. Um, I guess he's watching live on his iPad. That's great to have you here, Dad. You can type in comment. You can in. type in comments too. Uh, yes, and it's like UK mm -hmm. time. I don't think they've changed. Uh, maybe they've changed blocks. I'm not sure. Anyway, lovely to see you from this side of the camera. I hope that you and your family have a lovely dinner. If we have any food left by the time Hadley's eating everything, no, it tastes really she's good. She's doing good. Oh, and top tip: the real reason why I had these out here is because. Um, we did have someone bring us some more taco shells, but I only had two taco shells. So what we do if we run out of taco shells is we use one of these to make our, could you just stir the meat please, guys? To okay. make like a mini taco. So this is what I wanted to show you with these guys. So you can put on your meat, you can put on a little sprinkling of pretty much everything else. And then, doesn't matter if you don't have taco shells, because maybe, maybe you don't. You need it, leave room for cheese. A little bit of a dollop, of course, silly me. <laughs> and then the cheese goes on top, and then Hadley can eat this, and it's... Also, look at that! There's a mini taco. You can put another one on top, make it a sandwich if you like, or you can just sort of like, it. let it spill everywhere, and... Also... Yeah, one on top? No, nah, that's okay. No? Okay. I'll just slow me down. Okay. Also... What's good for this, like for for the for the tortilla chips, if you're eating your taco and it gets a little messy, you know we all get messy, then you can grab the chip and like scoop it up. There you go. Yeah, yeah. leftover taco insides onto a taco shell. <laughs> uh oh, it's really hot. <laughs> she did that. She did that before with her blender pancakes. They were really really hot. Do I need to blow in your mouth? <laughs> oh, we shouldn't have said that. When they were younger and they would have really, they would put food in their mouth and it was really hot, then I would sit there and go, open your mouth, and I would blow. <sighs> Rather than blowing here, <sighs> I would blow in their mouth and try and cool it down. Mm -hmm. And they still roll their eyes at me as Logan just did. Anyway, all the fun shenanigans that oh, happen gosh, around the dinner great. table are the ones that make the best mm -hmm. memories. And those are the kind of things that are going to have conversations and connections crazy time or not we all need those desperately at this uh, at this time that we're at in so thank you so much for being along if you have any other questions post them below uh, below the videos and um, I'm happy to answer them if there's something in particular that you'd like us to make myself or Hadley I can throw her back in the kitchen maybe making some snacks I think as it's uh, Saturday tomorrow my thought is just to make a few dips so that we've got some uh, little snacky type things. Um, I thought today was Wednesday. Going so. on. Yeah, I know. It's all a bit of a blur. So uh, so look out for, uh, for some dips tomorrow. If you've got some canned beans hanging around, great. If you've got some carrots hanging around, even better. Because I'm going to make the um, make the carrot spread, which is so delicious. Because I actually have some cilantro too. So I'll post those on Ooh, social media tomorrow. Cilantro is also good in the oh, guacamole yeah, you can add, too. Add, add some cilantro I'm in there too. That, All right, we'll do that after the fact. Tastes good. All right, have a, have a great evening. Enjoy your taco night Bye. With, the, with your loved ones. And, and we'll see you again soon. And make some guacamole because it tastes really good with a taco. Okay, thanks, Ed. You're welcome. Yeah.